the cranial cavity the interior of the cranial cavity is divided into three depressions this is known as anterior cranial fossa this is middle cranial fossa and this is posterior cranial fossa mm -hmm. features seen in anterior cranial fossa in the midline this is known as crista galli it gives attachment to fox cerebri mm -hmm. on each side of the crista galli there is a cribriform plate of ethmoid which transmits olfactory nerves mm -hmm. on each side of it there is a orbital plate of frontal bone which has impressions of sulci and gyri Mm -hmm. Behind the crista galli, this is a flat part of the bone known as jugum spinoidal. Mm -hmm. Behind this, you find a sharp edge of the lesser wing of spinoid. Medial end of lesser wing of spinoid is known as anterior clinoid processes. Medial to it, on each side, we have a opening. This is known as optic canal, which transmits optic nerve and ophthalmic artery. Mm -hmm. Below the lesser wing of spinoid, there is a comma shape. fissure which is known as superior orbital fissure which transmits third fourth and sixth cranial nerve and ophthalmic division of trigeminal nerve below this is a round foramen known as foramen rotundum it transmits maxillary division of trigeminal nerve behind it is a oval shaped foramen known as foramen oval it transmits mandibular division of trigeminal nerve behind it a small round foramen known as foramen spinosum transmits middle meningeal artery medial to this two foramen we have a irregular shaped foramen known as foramen lestrum it is related to internal carotid artery in the middle in the middle cranial fossa there is a depression which is known as fossa for pituitary gland known as pituitary fossa also known as cella tarsica behind it here we have a posterior cranial fossa in the posterior cranial fossa you find a internal acoustic meatus this internal acoustic meatus transmits 7th and 8th cranial nerve below the internal acoustic meatus there is a foramen known as jugular foramen which transmits on each side is here jugular foramen transmits 9 10 and 11 cranial nerves and internal jugular vein below it we have a hypoglossal canal which transmits hypoglossal nerve in the middle we have a large foramen foramen magnum transmits the spinal cord meninges vertebral artery and spinal accessory nerve other things apart from foramina you find important relations of venous sinuses on each side of the pituitary gland here pituitary fossa on each side you find cavernous sinus so this is the relation of cavernous sinus this point in the center is known as confluence of sinuses means meeting of all sinuses from above there is a superior sagittal sinus from below here is the occipital sinus on each side we have a right and left transverse sinus and transverse sinus continues as the sigmoid sinus so this is the groove for sigmoid sinus sigmoid sinus continues as internal jugular vein at the upper border of this bone we have a superior petrosal sinus and the lower border of this bone we have a inferior petrosal sinus at the lesser wing of sphenoid we have a spinoparietal sinus in the middle cranial fossa we have relation of the artery this is the groove for middle meningeal artery mm -hmm. so this is some important relations of the blood